says that we are God's personal representatives. We are his ambassadors whom he is using to proclaim his message to the world. To proclaim his word to the world. We're the representatives. It actually says in one version who he's using to make his plea to the world. He's pleading, I will call you to perish. It's my heart that every person would be saved and that everyone would come to the knowledge of Jesus. If we have the truth, if we know the truth, why would we withhold it from people that we know have missed it? So let's preach the message of the gospel of the glory of God and let us be glory carriers. Let us be glory replicants. We need his glory. Every day, if, if the Bible says, ask of me and I will give you the nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your possession. Think about this. Right now, the state that we're in, we're just asking Lord, the Lord for Manda, Doreen, Wallen. On the, on the map of God and his astronomical earth, you know, creation, What's Myrna and Doreen? It's not even a pen dot. It's not even... So think about it. If the Bible says that when he gives us something that might be small, but when we show our faithfulness with that, that one thing, that small thing, imagine him really giving us the nations and the ends of the earth as our possession. He's telling us, ask me, ask me for the nations. He's challenging us. We're only asking him for murder at the moment. But if we're faithful with murder in being the glory replicant,